Hello student, today we are going to study Marconikov's rule and anti-Marconikov's rule. In Marconikov's rule, when unsymmetrical alkene, unsymmetrical alkene react with unsymmetrical, unsymmetrical reagent. then positive part of the reagent in reagent there is positive and negative part positive part of the reagent bonded with that double bonded carbon atom which contain higher number of hydrogen double bonded carbon atom which contain higher number of hydrogen and halo alkene will form so let us take example of unsymmetrical alkene i am taking c CS3 CH double bond CH2 this is propene and on symmetrical reagent we normally use HBr halo acid HBr and HCl HBr or HCl then the product form is let us see the positive part of the reagent what is the positive part of the reagent H plus and negative part of the reagent is Br minus. The positive part of the reagent bonded with that double bonded carbon atom. Here two two carbon bond uh, two carbon contain double bond. That double bonded carbon atom which contain higher number of hydrogen. So in this two carbon which contain higher number of hydrogen? This carbon contain higher number of hydrogen. So hydrogen goes to higher number of hydrogen here. And negative part of the reagent bonded with that double bonded carbon atom which contain lower number of hydrogen. So product form is CS3, CH, here Br is come and here CH3. So 2 bromo propane, 2 bromo propane, 1, 2, 2 bromo propane. This is the Marconikov's rule. Anti-Marconikov's rule. Anti-Marconikov's rules is opposite to the Marconikov's rule. In this rule, uh, the peroxide, organic peroxide is present and so this rule is also called peroxide effect or Karas effect. So in anti-Marconikov's rules, when unsymmetrical alkene, let us take an example, unsymmetrical alkene CS3, CS double bond, CS2. When unsymmetrical alkene react with unsymmetrical reagent, the reagent used is HBr. In anti Marconikov's rule, only HBr is used. Only HBr is used. But in Marconikov's rule, we can use HBr and HCl. So, things to remember is anti Marconikov's rule, HBr only. In Marconikov's rule, HCl and HBr can be used as the reagent. So, unsymmetrical alkene this is a propene react with unsymmetrical reagent hydrogen bromide in presence of organic peroxide in presence of peroxide that is organic peroxide for example organic peroxide c6h5coo hold to benzoyl peroxide benzoyl peroxide then unsymmetrical reagent ma? the positive part of the unsymmetrical reagent that is H plus and negative part is the Br minus H plus the unsymmetrical positive part of the unsymmetrical reagent this H plus bonded with that double bonded carbon atom that double bonded carbon atom which contain lower number of hydrogen this carbon contains only one hydrogen this carbon contains two hydrogens so this hydrogen bonded with this hydrogen bonded with that carbon which contain lower number of hydrogen but what happens in Marconikov's this bonded with this but if presence of peroxide then hydrogen bonded with that carbon which contain lower number of hydrogen so what product is formed here CS3 CH2 one hydrogen is added in this carbon so form CS2 and single bond this BR is formed to this Br is bonded with this carbon and CH2Br. 
1 bromo 1 bromo propane 1 bromo propane is formed in the Marconikov's anti Marconikov's rule but in Marconikov's rule 2 bromo propane is formed so peroxide should be organic peroxide organic peroxide benzoyl peroxide example of organic peroxide benzoyl peroxide 